For four days, this family says they've been in the dark, wondering what happened to Tyree Pryor. It's just been, you know, confusion uh, about what's going on, and we just want to know what happened to our loved one. Little is known about what happened when two Independence officers opened fire on Pryor Friday night. We know someone called Independence Police saying three to four people were banging on her door. This was at a house in the 800 block of West College Street. Police say they were arriving as Pryor drove off. Minutes later, around 8 p.m., officers say he crashed in the intersection of 24 Highway and Nolan Road. The Missouri State Highway Patrol is now investigating the shooting that killed Tyree Pryor. An employee at a nearby business told me that Pryor crashed at the this spot right behind me. You can see crews there working on that spot. And the employee told me that the shooting happened in a matter of minutes. No one said anything about anything about him being any kind of aggressor or doing anything to justify anything that happened that day. Police said two other people were in the car with Pryor and that Pryor had a rifle, but they aren't releasing any other information right now. His family says they will get to the truth. In the meantime, reminiscing about all the good times. He came through for his family every time. No matter nothing he had going on, it was family first. And he loved his kids. No matter what, what he was going through, he loved his kids. The family says the craziest part about this story is that Pryor's son was recently honored by the Independence Police Department. It was just two years ago that the Independence Police Department was just honoring his son. Just honor his son, really? you know, for his act of service, not with the same name, and then two years later killed his dad. Sarah Plake, KSHB 41 News.